Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn CRUD REST API using Prisma, Next.js and the MySQL. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. So first of all, let's create the directory. So let me go to the terminal first and let's clear all this. And let's move back to the folders and let's create the full directory first. So I'm going to CRUD. So I'm going to make it CRUD next Prisma MySQL. So let's go and run this command. So would you like to TypeScript? No, no. Whatever it is, make it enter. This is done. Let's go to the folder directory. So CD CRUD. Okay. Now we have to go with the installation. So let's install these two. Prisma client, very important. Okay, install the Prisma. After this, we have to create the schema.prisma. So there is a command to create that so if I just open the code base and here you can see there is no prisma folder is there so let's create this with the help of command npm prisma npx sorry init so this is done and here you can see that uh, the folder of prisma is coming with the env file so here we need to add our post mysql connection string so let's add it so let me zoom it okay so here we have to add the connection string so let's go and add it and make sure you have to add the model schema also for the tables to create so here we go with the prisma schema prisma so here i need to add my model user here my sql database i'm going to use right so this is done env we have to change this one so i have already the env file this one so i need to just copy and paste this Okay, so MySQL username, password, or whatever we have the localhost or IP, and this is the port, and this is the database. Save this. <coughs> okay, and now we can go. If I go over here, let's check the connection. So, first command is uh, npx prisma generate. Okay, so that means this is done. Now, the tables we have to create npx prisma migrate dev so yes and it will say i will go with the users so you can see that the table i migrations part is done that means the connection string is correct so that's why it's connecting with that one and create the table over here you can see so select user and here we can get this structure with the name and the email done <coughs> moving to the next step this is done now we have to create the rest apis right so let's create the api step by step so i need to go with this one so here in the app we have to create a folder named api and then we have to create a new folder again in this that is users and in the users we have to create a file name that name is route.js okay so just add it and here we need to uh, create the REST API. So here we go with my route.js file for this one. So I need to paste it over here. Okay, so here you can see that we have the post request. So you, you need to require initiate the Prisma client. Then we this is a post request. So we, we accept the name and the email. Okay, then create that one. If it is so if something goes wrong, it, it will go to the catch block else it will create that user okay then we will go with the get so whatever records we have added into our database we will find it using the find menu and return the response 
okay if something goes wrong it will go to the error fetching the users internal server error will shown into the next response okay so this is the post and the get okay now we have to create another one in the users we have to create a new folder again with the id parts because params we required for that one okay and after this we have to create a new one that is route dot js for the others like delete and the get and the put for the update right <coughs> so let me go and add this also so here we go with this one so let's add it so here you can see that we have a request for the put so i'm going to update so here request and the params so first we get the json request dot json and here we extract the name and the email and uh, we require the id also so pass in params dot id and here prisma dot user dot update to update the record where id is equal to and whatever data you want to send whether it's to be name email you, you need to send it and it will update i will show you with the postman what exactly okay if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block right then we have a delete the record so delete would be possible with the help of the params id so just send it where you want to delete which record you want to delete just pass it and return the deleted record if something goes wrong it will go to the catch block with internal server error 500 okay so let's go to the postman and check each and every one so first of all we will go with the post request so let's add this record with the users okay sorry i haven't started the server npm run dev okay so let's hit this api and you can see 500 error is coming what is the issue in that let's check this request is not defined let me go and check this one Okay, so I think we here we have to add the join again here. So where we go with this one? So const data with join. Full data I need to copy this and go to the routes over here. So here we have to go with this one. Let's check this. This is done. Okay, let's go and hit this one. So this is again giving me the 500 error. request is not defined but i think okay i think i forget to add the request parameter over here so post so this request i haven't added so let me add this request over here okay so let's check it out right now now you can see the record is created and here in the database you can see the select data one record is added let's add two more with another email id let's try to send this this is added this is added right so this is done let's make a get request so get request with this one and you will fetch all the records whatever we have you can see with the help of the find menu so here you can see that we fe fetch the records with prisma.user find menu right so next just response so this is my user model okay so this is done <coughs> let's move to the next one with the help of the put and the delete so let's update the record on the behalf of one record right so here we have a record is one rajni right so let's go and uh, make a put request and uh, with the help of here i'm going to go with the tt and here i'm going to add the email with the one one at the red millimeter okay let's try to send it and let's take a record of one what updated you can see the record is updated right now we are going to just delete it so make a delete request and make it users one record so let's try to send it delete deleted record is coming over here let's go and check this one this record is deleted okay so this is full fledged cloud rest api using the prisma mysql and the next in the next videos we are going to discuss with the postgres cloud rest api with the prisma my uh, postgres and the next then after that there would be a mongodb right so two tutorials is pending from my side i will update soon thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day